For all your advertising and promo, reach out to me at gullytvboss at gmail.com. Advertising and promo, gullytvboss at gmail.com. For PA Knits and all my merchandise, my autograph book, all of that, go to my website, therealdribble.com. Let's get it in. You ready, Nick? Let's get them. Let's get it in. Truck drivers. Uh, shout out to the 585. That's Rochester, New York. What up? Listeners worldwide, man. Make sure y'all turn me up. The Dribble Podcast in the building. My man. Appreciate that, Nick. Shout out to Nick. You know we get in here. We bring good things to life. Uh, I've been away for like a week, and I've been getting busy. I went uh, from Oakland to Miami for five days, and I worked with the commission from Rochester. That's Green up with Mugavelli. Um, as far as the whole, all of the chaos and turmoil going down upstate New York with the Rochester hip-hop and all of that, um, it's a great look, in my opinion, and I have uh, evidence to substantiate this out of all of the stuff that's been said in this this interview for Mugavelli a lot of it was x-rated a lot of it was probably criminal have of a criminal element of everything that was in that video the freestyle video the green double and Mugavelli did way more numbers that joint is at like 23,000 views right now and just um you know like three and a half days four days or something like that so we know what everybody came to see motherfuckers came to see if these niggas can rap and shout out to them niggas for carrying you know what i mean carrying the weight you know what i mean because everybody the focus is on them they had a lot of critical things to say about the upstate favorite one P8, uh, 138 special, you know what I'm saying, from the Trust Gang. And a lot of people wasn't buying none of it. A lot of people um, who were a little bit closer to the situation said that they were aware of some of this, uh, these issues that these brothers been having. Started out about some foreign cars, I guess. But y'all can go catch up to that on the YouTube channel, The Real Gully TV, uh, the freestyle video. I got to go back to that. Because it was some shit with that. Um, the freestyle video was burning up YouTube. And I think it's kicked the door open um, for 2024 for upstate New York and Rochester. Although, you know, Benny the Butcher released the album. Conway released projects. Uh, different people released projects of extreme magnitude. But um, this freestyle video is letting the streets know. That you can touch me. You know what I'm saying? That I'm reachable. That you can come to Gully TV and get your point across. You know what I'm saying? Non-biased. You know what I mean? And have you projected in a light that is favorable to you and your situation at the end of the day. This shit is about bars and lyricism and shit. You know what I mean? The shit that go on outside in the streets, I have no control over. But... In this realm of Gully TV, when these cameras and shit come on, I run the show, you know what I'm saying? And um, I've always made it a practice to, of when I'm working with an artist in regards to like freestyle videos, the videos that I do, I've always picked a song. People have came to me uh, for video work for songs that they thought was the one or whatever. They might have had an itinerary with it. And I heard it. And I heard a couple of other records that they have, and I tell them, yo, this is the one right here. And um, I'm like 30 and no, I've been able to get away with this my whole career. Like, people have trusted me and trusted my judgment. In regards to this video, this 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 freestyle, Fuck You by Mugavelli and Green, Green Double. Mug uh, and Green played me a few records. Uh, Fuck you probably was like the second or third record But I stopped him right there I said yo this is the one right here You know what I'm saying And immediately it was kind of like a, a brief pause like Yeah this is the one God damn it you niggas recorded it You know what I mean this is the one and shit This is the one 
that's going to spark things and shit. You know what I'm saying? So at, at the time, they, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they were in total agreement of releasing it right away. I think they might have had something that they was going to do with that later. But I'm telling them niggas, yo, that's gully TV material and shit. That shit need to be on here. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing fantastic. Just all lyricism and bars in the fucking studio where music is created and shit straight to the point. They agreed to do it. They trusted me and my uh, professional process to get the job done. Once I got back, you know what I mean? Got back on the plane and got back up north. I got a phone call and um, there was some questions about the authenticity or the the quality of the music video. And um, I had to let a certain person know that I do this. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust me on this, man. I got the expert eye and ear in regards to this. And I proved my point because this music video, although Green Double and uh, Mugavelli have other musical contributions and shit, this freestyle, fuck you, um, we all agree has done the most for them to have has had the most impact for them um the comments about it divided a lot of niggas say it's hot some niggas say it's trash a lot of people say 38 gonna get at their ass about it that uh remains to be seen i spoke to him on the phone several times over the course of this last week and um, his stance on it is, them niggas ain't nice enough. <laughs> That's his stance on it. That he, he said if it was like Hove or Drake or somebody like that, and where I had, you know what I mean, something to gain and shit, I would get busy and shit. But, you know, uh, Green Double don't even have a, a solo project out to date, or Green Double don't even have, don't have much besides freestyles and the work that he did on trust gang so nah he not qualified to get busy with me and you know mugger not qualified either so i'm gonna pass i i went straight to him and i explained my situation to him in regards to this what's going on with them rest in peace to dj k slay um k slay's career was fueled by uh, a program that he had called the drama hour where all of the mcs would get on and air out their differences and shit you might get a live freestyle you might have two niggas on on the phone you know what i mean going through something and shit you might have g unit bombing on uh murder inc you might have stack bundles going out ali vegas just whatever was popping at the time in hip-hop you know you could you're not you're not gonna hear it on hot 97 during the day and shit you know what i'm saying uh, the underground is X-rated. It's a lot of, it's shocking and shit like that. So it has to be placed in a certain vehicle and shit. K. Slay ain't here anymore, and the drama hour is and it isn't here anymore. And there's nobody servicing the underground. Um, the underground was once serviced by DVDs. Shout out to my DVD counterparts, man. The the, the titans of the DVD game, Smack, Cocaine City. The Come Up, Sub-Zero, uh, Real Talk, you know what I mean? Shout out to all of them. They moved on to do different things. They're not around in media no more, but I'm still here. I'm still outside, as y'all say. I'm still outside. I'm still flying to different cities, man, trying to see what's going on and shit like that. So I hope y'all appreciate the show based on the numbers. Y'all definitely appreciate the show. I'm looking at, again, the freestyle is probably at like 23,000. That's a lot of fucking views for some guys who didn't have, you know, the biggest following to begin with. Yes, it's a diss record, so it's going to attract a little bit more traction, but it still did exceptionally well at this point. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just paying attention to everything that's going on for for rochester new york somebody hit me up one of my relatives and shit he said man i see special uploading a lot of content and you know music and you know he, he even dropping shit right now so yeah man it's it's an inferno they names is in the algorithm it's their time shout out to uh uwap 
and Uwe V and, you know, some of the other guys who I ain't worked with from The Rock yet. I'm here for you niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have been utilizing me at Rochester only like two hours, two and a half hours from me and shit like that. Probably less than that. You know what I mean? Probably two hours and shit. So y'all shouldn't have been coming to fuck with the dribble. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people be questioning my authority in regards to this matter. I was placed in authority because them niggas paid me. Straight like that. Them niggas flew me, flew me to Miami. Them niggas placed me in a hotel. Them niggas gave me the greatest Jamaican and roster food. You know what I mean? And we got the work. This is a business. And that's what you, that was the outcome of it. Yes, I did uh, direct the music video. Y'all got to understand when I give somebody a part of me, I'm going to give them my best and shit. So that look, that fuck you video and shit, that was a look that I felt could work for them and shit. And it did work, you know what I mean? And um, I was trying to prove a point with it, not dissing 38 Special, not doing anything malicious. I was just demonstrating in front of the city of Rochester what I could do with a camera, you know what I'm saying, for a nigga who ain't, you know what I mean, got the most resources and shit, straight like that. Um, I believe that, of course, this shit is going to continue, but this is Rochester's moment and shit. Rochester should do something with this moment that everybody's watching, everybody's listening. I mean, unequivocally, Rochester is the big story in hip hop right now. I know nobody's seen that coming, but again, everything has its time and season of manifestation. And it's about the ROC right now. Uh, Pillmatic 2 on the way. Shout out to Rusty Jooks. Just got a record from him like an hour ago and shit. We almost done. Y'all know how the turtle do. You know what I'm saying? Crawling the greatness, man. It'd be, it be at a, you know what I mean, a turtle speed sometime. But I got to put out some fire, man. I only got one time to impress you guys, man. Pillmatic 1, flawless. I'm going to get y'all the sequel. So uh, just a couple of more weeks, man. I'm waiting on like one or two people. And we... We, we, we lit, we lit. One thing for sure, two things for certain. I'm never going to get myself in this type of situation again. I learned a lot about making music and shit. I also learned a lot about um, creative control um, tempo. What I mean by that is when you're working by yourself or maybe when you're working with one artist, you can get shit done a little bit more expeditiously and shit. When you're working with like 15 different artists on one album, shit... <laughs> 12 different artists and shit Shit kind of get tedious man You know people got things going on in their regular lives And shit and it, it's just taking A little bit more for All of the dots to connect but We on deck and I'm, I'm proud Of what, I, uh, what I'm getting from Dre uh, I've listened to um, The Shaheen Record is fire The Sam Scar record fire Hush Kingpin joint fire Uh Cool Kim from the UMC's fire. Words worth fire. Got a nice roster, man. Like, welcome to the underground, man. I'm still waiting on a couple guys. Planet Asia, what up? Get with me, baby. So we can get this thing done. Uh, show. Uh, I want y'all to go to the channel and go through all of my um, old Rochester videos because you're hearing a lot of names right now that I've been interviewed these niggas. I've been work with these niggas. I've been telling y'all these niggas was fire. Illinois from the cloth, Rob Gates from the cloth, Riggs from the cloth, Edo, G Money Bags. Make sure y'all go and look these names up on the channel, man. I got Rochester Dope, been on my channel for, 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 for years, for years. Yeah, shout out to the city. I appreciate y'all um, opening y'all eyes to the dribble, man, and embracing the dribble, man. Basketball is a team sport. I'm passing you niggas the rock right now. That's what's going on. This YouTube shit has been great to me. You know, uh, before YouTube, the DVD game was great to me. I was able to create a dope network and just make my way through this business. At this point, I'm acting. Shout out to everybody who checked out the film Cream on Tubi. Shout out to Luke Stefan, my co-star Crystal the Dog, KDZ. Everybody that, you know, participated in it. We just do everything in my life is just 
on jackpot right now the, uh, the movie did uh 7 million in 11 days that was the last quote i go got that was like a few days ago so i'm pretty sure it's at like 10 million right now these type of numbers that i'm reciting to you is exceptionally well for for tubi and shit uh i see the joint doing 20 and 30 million and shit like that you know what i'm saying by by the summer you know what i mean 20 million 30 million shit like that and uh the the sequel is highly anticipated us doing those types of numbers expands the budget you know what i'm saying it it, it expands the it, it expands the budget it impresses financiers and financiers they're impressed by you know them analytics so shout out to all of y'all who, who went to go see that movie i just have to say this because this is the truth and it's obvious my man the director luke he told me ain't none of my i got six films out none of my films did this type these types of numbers and shit none of them did these types of numbers this is like way way out there and shit i told him i said my nigga them is my fans that's the dribble nation them, them is people who've been watching gully tv for the last you know what i'm saying 20 years and shit like that and it ain't just them it's the niggas that don't believe it it's the niggas that don't believe it like you get to hearing about hearing about this shit you know what i'm saying you might see it on a timeline the niggas that hate me i got a lot of views from them niggas they had to come and see it from themselves they had to see it for themselves you know what i'm saying and um part two on the way part two on the way so yeah that's my new reality and shit i'm an actor now and shit i got a couple scripts on deck just perfecting my craft working with luke and just waiting my turn and shit but yeah i'm on deck i'm on deck i'm, I'm, I'm acting coach the whole the whole shebang everything that, that that goes with it and shit luke put me in a position to, to you know to learn and, and gain camera confidence and expect to see more so cream on tubi c r e a m make sure you go check that joint out man watch that shit two or three times straight up breaking records out here somebody asked me about um the dirty section of youtube that shit's gone it's over with that shit was around for a good two years and shit probably a little bit more everybody that was involved with it it was entertaining we didn't do nothing but disrespect each other and did a bunch of nobody got hurt but uh people are maturing people got children people got responsibilities that cause their minds to expand and shit so you can't just be stuck there and shit and a lot of them niggas they aptitude had a had a roof you know what i mean no growth so no growth you know what i mean uh shout out to everybody who doing their thing though shout out to the trust gang uh shout out to green double mugger Ui V, the guys that I mentioned, man, like, this is y'all time. This is y'all time. I seen some people in the comments. I have to address this. Said something like, I'm playing both sides of the fence. I'm not. I've been interviewing both of them niggas. Them niggas was feuding five years ago. And I went to interview them. And they were in separate studios. We was all in the same building. One of them niggas in one room. One of them niggas in the other room. I interviewed one, went to the next few, next room, interviewed Spesh, and got got the fuck up out of there and shit. Like so, yeah, I'm just doing my job. Y'all would, y'all have to understand, man. Vlad, and them niggas can't do this. I know y'all love Vlad. I know y'all love Vlad. No jumper and all of that type of shit. They can't do this. They can't do this. They can't do this. They can't give you that sound. They have no taste for this type of sound and shit. I grew up in this sound, surrounded by this sound and shit. So this element that you love, you can't get it nowhere else but Gully TV. I'm glad y'all starting to see that. For real. It took y'all time. It took y'all some time. Some niggas had to fall off. I'm glad y'all starting to see that. Now let me talk about drink camps before I get up out of here. <laughs> Drink champs is exposing you niggas, man. Like, they getting you niggas drunk. You niggas getting up there, man. And y'all just becoming way too transparent. Benzino. 
niggas don't niggas don't everybody don't sniff cocaine my nigga everybody didn't try that shit everybody's not impressed some people lynn byers died from cocaine my nigga so no nah, we ain't never been coked out my nigga that's something that i guess you into or you didn't indulge in cool that's your business but it's not cool devin wade i sent you in the comment in my comments and you was like well Wu Tang and Mob Deep was, you know, sniffing on their albums and this and this and that, and you know, you know, they was niggas heroes and shit. I'm like, ho, fam, listen, sniffing cocaine was wrong and some bullshit when they was doing it. You know what I'm saying? That was that's something that they that that was they thing and shit. That didn't make it thorough by all means to everybody. And not only that, we weren't the same age, but we of the of of somewhat the same demographic them niggas a little bit older and it was kind of fashionable to do that in they generation somewhat i believe well i know it yeah it was kind of, everybody didn't get on that type shit that shit stopped with them niggas them niggas just like benzino age and shit so my nigga like <laughs> you saying a lot man i seen a couple people saying that mental health is real and people shouldn't be laughing at him crying on um drink champs you can't be crying in the middle of warfare in, in the middle of warfare no don't, don't nobody want to see that shit you were engaged in a battle you've been exchanging insults and 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 and, 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 and bars and shit with a motherfucker and right in the middle of this shit you start crying nobody nobody wants to see that that's not a part you the first person in history in the middle of battle that took it to that my nigga like if you could have did that behind closed doors or something whatever the case whatever the case nobody's gonna we not empathizing with you because you start crying man like not in the battle man like you 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 kind of like forfeited you was doing good with rap elvis for a minute and shit but when you went up there and start crying and all of that type of shit talk about that you want to hug him and my nigga chill and chill with the the cocaine shit everybody don't do that shit i gotta get up out of here man shout out to the truck drivers who tuning in i know this joint was abbreviated but i got this dope ass part two of mugavelli and green double and this is the part where they talking about the clip situation so this is what everybody's been waiting for right here this joint that i'm dropping in a couple of hours and shit so yeah i'm about to go tend to that to make sure y'all get that on time and again Get at me if you're trying to get busy upstate New York. You seen what I'm doing for these niggas' careers and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you seen what I just did to this other nigga career who stole from me. I ain't gonna say his name because I told you, nigga. You barred from Gully TV. You know what I'm saying? You barred from Gully TV for life. If you need any type of media coverage, whatever, call Doggy Diamonds. Over here, you want a lifetime shit list with my son and Mano, my nigga. Straight like that. No thieves ain't tolerated. Period. And I don't got no empathy for you. Fuck you, uh, Nick. I'm I'm done, my nigga. I didn't I didn't gave him what I got. Turn my music up, man. Let me get up out of here. Make sure make sure y'all go to my website, therealdribble.com, man. Get y'all some knitage, man. I got all types of flavorful shit on the website. Make sure you come through. This my signature cap. Got the whole nation rocking them and shit. This the Rollo right here. Make sure y'all go through the website, therealdribble.com, and get right straight up. Rochester, get at me. Gully TV boss at Gmail. We can get together and make some make something miraculous happen for your career. That go for everybody, especially you niggas in upstate New York. Cause I'm around. Peace. Little water progress, I pump the forty. Yeah. My mama told me life's about time. I told my mama, listen, it's about time. Right, from the kitchen, see the whole skyline. From my youngin' standing on front line. Yeah. Starting.